So for the sake of further demonstration, we want to take some of the concepts we've already spoken about and just give a few examples uh, in, in varying ways to show this. So we've talked about contact as control, control as safety. We understand that this patient is in supine. This is one of the most controlled positions. And so we don't have to invoke the, the concept of less stable means I need to make the patient more stable here because he has a large surface area in contact with the table, so he's pretty stable. But when I start to work with his limbs, uh, there's, less there's, there's greater freedom of those limbs. And I want to consider myself in the equation. I want to make sure that I'm not harming myself. I want to keep the patient controlled. I want to keep the, the effort minimal on me. So one such example would be utilizing the arm, right? So I can have his arm way out here. So essentially what we have here is a situation whereby my effort and the load are very far apart. Okay, so this is an arm that's free in space. Now I can come in here and I can place his arm against my body for contact and control. I can have a two-handed grip for if I liked. I can go ahead here. This is something that people in classical osteopathic circles <clears throat> will understand. Uh, they've seen this hold, right? This hold can be modified to this. There's nothing wrong with that. Another hold that's common in classical osteopathic circles is coming in here. Now the thing about coming in here, again, there is contact with my body. The patient's arm is in contact with my body. I wrap around, okay? I have good contact here. What we're really trying to show is contact, is control, control is safety. You can see all this contact. So I've got his forearm against my body, my forearm wrapping around my hand. This hand wraps around to the other side of his elbow to control it. Okay. That is the same as me being down here. Okay. Many people in physical therapy, generally speaking, will have seen motions like this. Okay. So I can do this motion way back here, right? but again, effort and load are very far apart. I'm going to have a hard time. I'm going to wear out. Okay. So in this case, if people want to speak about, say, a fixed point with respect to treatment, the table is the fixed point. So as long as I'm not moving in a way that's rocking my patient's pelvis, then essentially the pelvis is stable, okay, so there's a fixed point on the table, and I can move the, the femur in relation to the acetabulum, so I can essentially use the strength of the table. But all I have to do, so it's not the easiest thing to see, but I've got the patient's shin against my thorax, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap around, I'm going to bring this arm in tight so that I can use less effort, right? So essentially this is just to make sure his leg doesn't fall down. And then I can see my forearm goes on the front of his thigh and then I wrap around. And now all I have to do is turn my body. Okay? I can use my eyes, so we're thinking about combining that concept of multi-sensory integration. I can use my eyes to see how far everything goes as well as the contact, the, the palpation that I have through both hands and through my thorax here. Okay? So if we want to talk about something that many osteopathic practitioners will have seen, we talk about something where people will use the term leg rotation, um, they can use many other terms. Okay? So the same idea is I have my hand underneath. Now what a lot of people will talk about is I essentially put my, my thorax again against the patient's thigh and a portion against the shin and I then take my arm and I wrap it around. Right? I don't just stop here, I wrap around. So again, contact is control and control is safety. And then I can just walk. Okay? Now I can either palpate through his lumbar column, I can palpate his iliac crest, his PSIS, his sacrum. I can move my hand over, go to his greater trochanter and, and monitor the hip. And then I can get this similar motion that I had here when I am here. But the thing that stays the same is contact, is control and control of safety. Okay? I can, should I want to, come around, tuck the patient's ankle essentially into my armpit. So I've got thorax, my arm, and I can wrap around here. Okay? So say you're trying to work on the hip and the patient has a bad knee. Well, you can support their knee in this fashion. Okay? You can tuck a little bit more under. So you might be able to see my fingers on the other side, and then I can do that. Okay? So I can hold here, tuck around. All of these things have in common that I'm controlling the patient and keeping them safe because I've got lots of body contact with them. That body contact 
is extremely important, and not just contact with what I would call my body, my thorax or my torso, but having lots of my arm wrapped around for control. Okay? So those are things to help us further illustrate that contact is control and control is safety.